What's up YouTube, Max Tech Guy here. So today I'm bringing you something really special and dear to me, and that's the release of the old, well, technically new SNES. Luckily, I was able to get my hands on one of these babies, which I was really excited for. So anyways, out of the box, you're going to get the instructions on how to set it up, and next up is the console itself. Following that are all your accessories to get you up and running, including the power brick, a micro USB cable to power it up, an HDMI cable, and of course, two controllers. So immediately out of the box, I was really surprised by how tiny this thing is compared to its older twin sibling. Like it literally fits in the palm of my hand. Aesthetically though, it looks almost identical to the 1990 console and retains most of the look. At the top you have the power switch and next to that is the reset switch which works just like the original console. Unfortunately, the game cartridge slot and the eject button doesn't open or move because all the games are stored inside. And last, towards the back, you have the micro USB port for power and an HDMI port to hook up the console to your TV. As far as the controllers go, they are the exact same look and feel as you would expect, so nothing too different there. I'm not really gonna go over how to set this thing up because, well, it's simple. And if you hooked up anything to your TV in the past 10 years, you should be able to hook this thing up. However, I did find that the ports for the controllers are hidden behind a little flap, which at first I was really confused as to how I was going to plug in the controllers. Once popping it open, you will see the two ports, and when you're done with them, just pop the flap back on. Anyways, once you're all hooked up, just turn the SNES Classic on and you'll be greeted by a language selection screen and following that you'll be taken to the homepage. So as mentioned before, all games are preloaded onto the console, which is awesome. It does take away from that nostalgic feeling you used to get when you had to blow into the game cartridge before inserting it into the console, but hey, I can't complain with the amount of games this thing packs. And be sure to give this video a thumbs up if you remember doing that. The fact that this tiny little thing can pack 21 games is crazy. And if you want to learn on how this is so, I suggest you go check out this awesome YouTuber's video on the teardown of this console and how it works. Zach does some pretty intense teardown videos that I just don't have the guts to do myself, so be sure to check it out either up in the card in the top right of the screen or down in the description. So anyways, the games that come preloaded range anywhere from Super Mario World, Donkey Kong, Mega Man, Punch-Out, and to the never released on a Nintendo system, Star Fox 2. Playing these games really brings joy and memories just because it helps you realize the day and world we live in now. One of the reasons I got this console was because I wanted my son to see what I grew up with when I was his age, and well let's just say that the games were a lot harder back then. Playing Mario Kart still has the same skills such as letting go of the gas when turning at a curve, and finding the caves when riding the Rhino and Donkey Kong. As far as how the games look, they look as you would expect them to look. You do have the option in settings to change from the CRT filter mode, which essentially mimics the same view you would get from a television from back in the 90s, to a 4x3 aspect ratio, and lastly, the pixel perfect video mode, which is more or less taking advantage of the HDMI capability to give you a better resolution games in terms of color and clarity, while still retaining the pixelated view. In addition, you can also choose the frame that goes around the edge of the game if you don't like the default black bars on the side. Besides that, from the home page you can save your games and your progress in certain folders, so that way you don't have to restart from the beginning of every game when you decide to turn it off and turn it back on. Overall, this is an awesome console and a great way to relive memories. If there was one thing to complain about, it would just be the shortness of the cables for the controllers. You literally are standing right in front of the TV and it's not really a comfortable experience so if you do happen to get this console be sure to pick up some extenders which you can pick up at like Best Buy or even Amazon. Besides that, I really hope that Nintendo can kick up the production on these and not let people down like they did last year with the NES Classic. This would be an awesome gift for anyone especially this holiday season. Well guys, let me know what you guys think in the comment below and don't forget to subscribe to stay up to date on my uploads. Catch you guys in the next one. Later.